Now we're going to look at the standard algorithm for how we add and subtract fractions with different denominators. So of course this is where we have to find a common denominator and hopefully the least common denominator. Now another name for the least common denominator is the LCM or least common multiple and how it works is you don't want to just multiply three times four um, because that works in this instance but it doesn't work in this instance. Five times ten is fifty which is way too big. So how you want to teach kids how to find the common denominator is that you want to think of all of your multiples of three. So three times one, three times two, three times three. And you keep writing all your multiples of three. And then you do the same thing with four. So when I write all my multiples of four, what I want to do is I want to find the first number that's on both lists. And as you can see it, it's 12. So the least common multiple or least common denominator here is 12. So I want to build both of these into a denominator of 12. All right, how we do that, of course, is that we want to make a common denominator of 12. So I want 2 thirds to turn into a denominator of 12. And then I want 1 fourth to turn into a denominator of 12. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to think of 3 times what gives me to 12, and that's 4. So I'm going to have 8 twelfths is the same thing as 2 thirds. And then when I do this one, 4 times what gets me to 12, and that's 3. So 1 fourth, same thing as 3 twelfths. So this problem has turned into 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths, which is the same thing as 11 twelfths. So that's the standard way to add fractions without using an area model. Okay, we're going to try that again over here now with subtraction problem. So this time it's 4 fifths minus 1 tenths. So again, you want to think of multiples of 5, so 5, 10, 15, 20, on and on and on. And then I want multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, and we want the first number on both lists. And as you can see, the first number on both lists is 10. So that means I want to turn 4 fifths into a denominator of 10. And one-tenth, well, it's already a denominator of 10. So that one is a lot easier. Okay. So here, oops, um, I want to take 5 times what gets me to 10. And that answer is 2. So 4 fifths is the same thing as 8 tenths. And one-tenth is one-tenth. So putting it together, it was 4 fifths minus one-tenth. So that would be the same thing as 8 tenths minus one-tenth. And 8 tenths minus 1 tenth, 7 tenths. So make sure when you're switching between adding and subtracting that you are paying attention to the sign. Because I could totally see somebody doing a whole bunch of addition problems and writing that the answer is 9 tenths. So be careful.